to have some sort of pre-production conversation that I'll just nip into midway through and have the I'm entire... I'm taking it. You're already recording. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to get me to say something uh, off kilter? Or, uh... <laughs> hey, this is Fido 86, as the piece of paper there says. Now, we are incredibly far ahead, as I tried to tell you last week. Yes. See, um, we are right here on Saturday the 2nd. Uh, my little handmade calendar here. And mm -hmm. usually what I'll have is just this week, and I'll barely get this out in time for the chief colorist to color, and she'll bitch and complain that she doesn't have enough time to do it. But now, look at all the crossed out. I'm already up to the 18th Monday. Uh, I don't go. bitch and complain. I'm I just up to suggest the 18th. that uh, I'm two weeks ahead I now. I'm a little earlier, but oh. that's okay. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. We'll put that aside. And let's go over what the chief colorist hath wrought. Oh, okay. This is, mm -hmm. uh, this is all the work she's colored. And Irving, um, when I first set you up, you had a better view of this. Let me just, uh, just... oh, that's closer. All right, here we go. Um, we have Bo, Fido, and Felicia. Mm -hmm. Felicia, how are you? What do you mean by that? And Fido jumps to his defense. What do you think he means? Stop being <laughs> rude to my human. You're human. I use him more than you do. I don't see him cleaning your litter box. Why do we even have this thing in here? <laughs> and as they're rolling on the floor, fighting, and the litter box turned over, Bo contemplates, I could have just had a goldfish. Aww. I'm going to pass these to the cheap colorist and she can put them aside someplace safe. Mm -hmm. uh, they've all been recorded and uh, videoed and uh, ready to go out. I'm just, we're going to put those to cold storage. Say bye-bye forever. I spend so little time with these things. <laughs> All right, here is Tuesday, the 5th of um, March. Um, Fido and Felicia. Fido says, I'm up to no good today. Are you? Yeah, everybody says better. Uh, yeah. Mm, there. Yeah, so everybody better watch out. Okay, we will. She goes back to sleep then. Wait a minute, wakes back up. I thought you were up to no good today. Well, technically, these potato chips are not good for me. I was getting old. Yeah. All right, here is Wednesday, March 6th. Uh, I guess they're coming in. I always kind of like Felicia's hat. It says K-A-T, so that you, you, know, you know who... Just so you know who she is. Well, you know what... You what know, she is, what, yeah, yeah, okay. You're not very good at being a bad dog, are you? What would you do? Uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, push a glass off the table. That's a cat thing. Oh, I know. Shopping your claws in the furniture. You're not going to be any help whatsoever, are you? <laughs> there we go. Dog, cat, point of view, different. All right, there's the seventh, uh, Thursday. Um, if I don't flee sure, just sort of standing there. What are you two doing? Nothing. You look suspicious. Do we? Wow, that's great. I always wanted to look suspicious. Take a photo of me so I can do it again. <laughs> well, there's Thursday and Friday in the bar, of course. You got it? All right. The uh, cat boss. <clears throat> you spilled beer on my bar. Fortunately, I carry around this rag to clean things up. But then I'd be going around with a wet, smelly rag all night. Dino, your T-shirt? <laughs> and as Dino's ringing the beer out of his T-shirt into a glass, which I presume he's going to drink, admittedly, I was planning on going around wet and smelly anyway. Uh, just a side note, uh -huh. on the Thursday strip that you just gave me, yeah. you did not notice that I moved the clouds as, as the... Uh... Send that back. <laughs> you moved clouds, you say? I did. You might have to um, re-record and redraw all this. Let's see what she's done. Redraw? Move the clouds. I moved the clouds. Like the cloud moved. Oh, I can hardly see it. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so it's, I guess there's a hurricane going outside because this cloud went from there. No, no, to that's there. not that cloud. Mm -hmm. There are two different clouds. That cloud went from there to there. Ooh. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's hardly. Um, listen, I'm All looking, right, I, fine. Give I'm looking at back. Irving. I'm looking at Irving. It's not readable from his camera. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Give me a bath with the other one. She animated please. the clouds, she says. I didn't. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, you might as well take this one, yes, too. Yes, I know. That's what I just said. <laughs> might as well wait for the other one. All right. 
So we have uh, Saturday. <clears throat> uh, there's Slusho just walking on frame. Of course, Bogash, Fido, and Dino. I didn't get any sleep last night. Mm, me neither. Felicia, why were you screaming last night? Because if I scream during the day, I don't want to keep anyone awake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, there's no change in the daytime with the uh, sun in the sky. That's good. Yes, there is. I think. Didn't I move the sun on that one? Oh, no, no, no. but good thing you didn't. Because <laughs> wow. it's, it's nearly instantaneous. All right, here is Monday, start of a new week. So this is going to be a one week ahead. Uh, Fido's pouring popcorn into a pot. Felicia's waiting. They pop the popcorn without the lid on. And Why don't you put a cover on that pot? It's well fun this way. I'm doing <laughs> popcorn angels. Tipped over. I just like popcorn angels. Hmm. Well, um, there you go. It's Monday. And here is Tuesday, the 12th of March. Um, Fido is sweeping up, clean, uh, Felicia's, Felicia's cleaning the window. Um, what are you two doing now? Well, what are you two doing, what are you, let's, let's get the, the yeah. try that again. What are you two doing now? We've got to clean this place up so that when we make a mess, you'll Ooh. notice. Well, there we go. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Here is uh, Wednesday. We haven't recorded this one yet because it just came to me. So I'm keeping this one so that we can, I remember to record it tonight. Um, Bo and Dino are like sitting at a, uh, a bus stop. Fido's there. Fido's there basically because, well, it's his comic strip. He's got to be there. <clears throat> like my new drink bottle? The Hydro Flask holds a gallon and, and keeps cold for hours. Yep, 20 pounds of stylish refreshment. And it holds my cards and keys and stuff. Do you really need to carry around that much water? <laughs> water? Uh, oh, yeah, w water! No. Yeah, water. <laughs> I'll put that aside. This is the uh, Thursday. This has already been recorded, so this goes to the chief colorist. Um, uh, we're doing dog explaining this week. <clears throat> you might not want to go out today. It's, it's raining, and cats don't like to get wet. And he's a little bit pissed off. I don't need you to dog explain to me. I think what you meant to say is that you're unable to appreciate my wisdom. A little bit of a glimpse, maybe, into our marriage. I mean, um... <laughs> <laughs> and this Thursday. We'll put that aside. Uh-huh. And, um... Well, that we're, that's all for those. Let's see. Where is the Friday? I don't know that I have what, What's the date on that? Uh, Thursday the 14th. Yeah, I've got it written off. Friday the 5th. Oh, here we go. Because I haven't given it to her yet. Aha. Here is Friday the 15th. I've done most of it because the rain special effect was going to be a real pain in the butt. Um, I was planning on just uh, inking this today. So all we got to do is ink the last, which is the part in the bar. So Fido and Felicia are out in the rain. And Felicia says, see, perfectly dry. Cats are capable of adapting and overcoming adversity. Dogs don't mind getting wet. We're, we're better when wet. And they car drives by splashing puddle on Felicia and um, they end up in the bar soaking wet and the cat boss says I smell wet dog and it's great isn't it so <laughs> we'll just finish doing the inking on this Ew. one today but um, when Irving pulls in later on I'll explain how the rain special effect is done it was a bit of a pain in the butt I went back to old technology I'm um, inspired by Charles Schultz in drawing the rain. Uh, uh, talk about it later, and perhaps we'll even get to talk about Mr. Schultz himself. Mm -hmm. uh, here is Saturday the 16th. Um, Fido's being patted by Bo. Bo gets up, and Fido looks at him like he's a criminal. Hey, get back here! Don't stop patting me unless you're prepared to finish the job. Probably uh, another insight into our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> What and, do you mean, honey? <laughs> Can you come scratch my back for me? <laughs> and here is Monday the 18th. Um, Bo is sitting cross-legged on the floor in front of a candle, and Fido says, What's that smell? It's the candle. It has sage and lavender. It's supposed to be relaxing. I thought you said no fire inside the house. It's relaxing. <laughs> that thing looks dangerous. That's what I said. It's not dangerous. It's relaxing. <laughs> he doesn't look relaxed. It feels relaxing. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back to the Friday that I showed you before. We'll get the very finest 
brush that I have to try to do these tiny little, little, little characters. There. I, say, I, I say every week, you shouldn't draw your characters that small. Yeah, I probably could have. Just, you know, let me think about it. Zoomed in just a little bit closer. <laughs> oh, well. Get to see the whole bar. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, let me pick, well, first we'll pick out a weapon. Well, a brush. And actually, I don't need to pick it up. I already know. I get the white tip on this brush. This is the one we, the one I want to use for this because it's my favorite tip. Last week it had something on it that made me not want to use it, but I've had I've since repaired it. So it's that's our brush. Now uh, cartoonists are the dirtiest, filthiest creatures on the face of the planet. So I must wear this a glove so that I don't get this comic strip any dirtier than anything else that I might be doing might be getting the comic strip. I don't know what that could be, but according to the cheap colorist, apparently like this yellowish brown film ends up you know, all over the comic strip. I, I wonder know. where it might come from. And it's a mystery. Mm -hmm. We're thinking it must be something in the paper. Yeah, it's got to be something in the paper. Mm, yeah. Or something infused into the paper. <laughs> mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, it's one of those... The Something world, that the paper sucks up as it's being, uh... The world may never know. I know. Mm. You ever try to put a light color on, you know, like, something that has a tinge behind it? <laughs> oh, uh, drop the brush. Oh, get back here. Now, where's our ink? Oh, the tip doesn't look good. Yeah, that might work. Ah, here is the ink. You have a problem with the tip? Oh, get that out! You, oh. I gotta, you've gotta tip it up. I know, but can't you do that? It's with like a you wet spin paper it. Or? Nope. It's it's spun clockwise. Yeah, but you kiss me try with to that mouth. Not anymore. <gasps> yes, you do. You still do. <laughs> you still kiss me. Don't make All it right. sound like you don't. That's yeah, nice. And uh, I want to put down a piece of paper to. Um, so that I don't what like, is smear. this week's paper? Well, it well usually you know, I could just put down that and it would advertise the website. Yes, yes. And but you know every once in a while I feel like putting down something that inspires me. Uh, this is not just a bit so that I can talk about things that are of in the news. Of course not. You're just looking for the right and, paper. You guys might remember uh, Mr. Corn Sweat, who is our new Superman. This was released on Twitter uh, X as supposedly the uh, new. Photo. Oh, let's see how this looks best. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Irving. Supposedly the photo of the um, costume of the new Superman, and it was quickly shot down by um, Mr. Um, what's his name? The, the, the new guy. The, oh, um, um, Gun. 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 Quickly Gun. shot down by James, James Gun. Gun. I have his quote here. But before we go to James Gunn's quote, I wanted to do my own little. Um, uh, observations about what I thought when I first saw this. The biggest thing I noticed was he's got this huge bulge down here. I mean, what's he got, like a cup? Yeah, he's wearing a cup. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, well, the, the underwear outside the pants, you don't see those very much. And the cape is very short, and the boots look like something Wonder Woman would wear. <laughs> but they do have the proper curl in his hair. And um, he's well, the Superman. Well, his hair is important. He's, he, I guess he's Superman looking like enough. Uh, it looks like he's, if you look at the old photo here of Corrin Sweat and this one, which is a photoshopped, unfortunately, uh, he's much more chiseled here. Uh, you don't notice. Look at, look at how you could, you, you could put a square on that jaw where <laughs> over here he looks like he's a little bit more rounded and soft. But yeah, look at this. He's like a he's like a Disney villain. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. He's, he's straight line, straight line. Not straight. a villain. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> you know where we got all these little soft curves. It's in fact, look at his his hair is in a heart shape. Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, they've 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 hardened our corn sweat up. But this, of course, is not um has been uh, discredited. And here yeah, is a it's quote. Apart, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's here is the um, actual direct. Um, well, here's 
gun tearing it apart. Let's see. Can the man on the left take a photo holding an amorphous black blob? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, while looking through an eyeball in the front of his cap. Uh, yeah, it looks like the cap is kind of... Uh, okay. Can the man on the right's torso grow right out of his hip? Um, and can he be stupid enough to wear his sweatpants drawstring in the back? Yeah, well, he's, he's got that one right. Sweatpants mm -hmm. drawstring is in the back. Are David Corn Sweat's hands made of wax without bones and veins? Well, they do look awfully clean. You know, everyone knows that a real man's hands look half bones and veins. So, yeah, they, you know, he's got a little. Uh, yeah, yeah, particularly this one does kind of look waxy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and might Superman's trunks be knitted with yarn? Uh, uh, yeah, well, instead of... Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Ask stuff these questions. I'm certain to be able to answer the question now. Knitted with yarn. Well, hey, here is the official photograph the gun did release, and this is either Superman at the Forces of Solitude or Superman after his coke habit goes no, too far. No. But it's got like basketball um, texture on, on it, and and it's got the same muted colors that uh, mm -hmm. that they had in um, Man of Steel and, and all the other Superman stuff. Hey, can I see that other Superman photo? Oh, sure. I, I never looked at it close up. Oh, yeah, here you go. Curious. Yeah, if you have any comments. Mm. So, uh, that's what the Superman logo is going to look like. It looks like it's bordered by yellow ish. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, we're hoping for the best, and I, so does the city of Cleveland, where it's being shot. They filed for a tax credit in Cleveland. Now, they've dropped the name, it's no longer Superman Legacy. Nope, nope, nope. Now it's called, according to this, Genesis. I don't know. G-N-E-S-I-S. -S. So here's the um, tax application for Ohio. Project title, Genesis. Production company, S&K Pictures Incorporated. Uh, it will be in Cleveland and Cincinnati. So I guess Metropolis is going to look a lot like Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> As okay. it does. Okay, well, yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, you know, Gotham is coming to look like Chicago or any other shitty town. Uh, oh, Chicago's a great town. Oh, don't get me wrong. Um, I love Chicago. You know, I, um, what's I'm up? looking at these things here, mm -hmm. and I can give a plausible explanation for all of it. Yeah. But anyway. Um, including the, um, the internet um, light down here. The, the <laughs> you know, it's oh, one of those round... Light. Yeah, I just put an about? arrow on it. You know, the little internet, uh, um, like uh, iris light that they that you usually use when you're doing a selfie on or, or an internet thing. Anyway, the reason why I dragged this out is because they claim a budget of thirty six million nine hundred and seventy two thousand two hundred and eighty nine dollars. That's it. Thirty six. No, sorry. Three hundred. Three hundred. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Three hundred and sixty-three. That's why you said that's it. Yeah. Three hundred and sixty-three million. Oh, that's that's very. Eight hundred and forty-two. Sorry, I, I missed that completely. That's very different. Eight hundred and forty-five thousand three hundred and sixty dollars. Um, that's a lot of money for a film, and no effing way is Warner Brothers going to spend that much money for one film. This is two films, if not three. Um. That's it. I, I, I refuse to believe this, but that they get, they greenlighted Gun to spend three hundred sixty three million on that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, 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 ain't happening. All right, so we can use the budget as our inspiration this week. Uh, stay in the budget. Uh, stay on target. Stay. Or we can, uh, you know, Superman. Yeah, uh, that's a fake photo, so we probably should just throw this away now. <laughs> uh, Dune has come out. Yes. Now, is this the worst movie poster you've seen in your life? If you knew, <laughs> I don't think it's. If the you worst knew one. nothing, if you knew nothing about the film, but you didn't maybe read Frank Herbert's Dune stuff, and um, you see Chani, played by the fantastic actress um, uh, 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 Zendaya. Z Zendaya. No, Zendaya. Zendaya walking. Strong woman ahead of Paul Atreides, beta male, otherwise known as. <laughs> Would you want to see this film? <laughs> of course, it looks 
<laughs> Worst poster ever. And I want to say that in the word of uh, the Simpsons comic book man. Worst, Worst. <laughs> <laughs> Worst poster ever. So <laughs> despite this poster, uh, I would have, I myself, preferred this poster of the sandworms with googly eyes. <laughs> the men running away from it. Um, uh, projected $76 million weekend. Um, AMC is upset because they thought it would beat the projections, but nope, it's hitting those projections right on. Yeah, and so, oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, uh, I will never use the Google, sorry, the, the, the Dune poster as an inspiration because that would just piss me off for the week. Maybe the googly eye. Yeah, I'll be our, um, we can draw with the googly eye picture. Hmm. Yeah. Or we can talk about Bob Iger. <laughs> well, that's one of your favorite topics, so let's, what the hell? let's talk about Bob, Bob Iger. Bob Iger has just gotten rid of about 80% of his Disney stock. <laughs> Me thinks <laughs> he knows something. <laughs> And we have my um, my favorite kicking um, kicking boy, kicking girl, whipping boy, whipping, Whip, whipping girl, Kathleen Kennedy. Um, mm -hmm. I'm positive she did not pay attention on the job when she was working for Spielberg and later for Lucas. Uh, uh, the Why? India, well, India, the, the last Indiana Jones film. <laughs> one uh -huh. of the joke was he's. One of the jokes was when he was dressed up as a German soldier, the German soldiers were talking to him, and mm -hmm. he didn't know the language. Kathleen Kennedy, of all people, should know that Indiana Jones in that era spoke oh, German. German. Yeah. Just like she should have known, this is the button that turns on the light, Luke's lightsaber, Ray. She should have known that. If anyone should know this stuff, it should have been Kathleen she Kennedy. She knew it, Ray didn't. No, she can't. But there, there should have been I know. someone. I know. There should have been someone on the set. You should have told her to hit the right button. <laughs> um, Harvey Weinstein's Acolyte, I mean, The Acolyte, um, June 5th, it's going to be released. Uh, <laughs> and Skeleton Crew has been moved to fall 2024 because that cost $136 million and they wanted to put it on next, they wanted to put it on next week's Disney Plus budget. See, um, these films, these things don't have to make money. What, what Lucasfilm does is... They make the film and then they sell it to Disney Plus. So we're taking money out of one pocket and putting it into the other pocket. But you just that's can't... perfectly legal, right? <laughs> All above board and yes. Okay. So we can't do that. Um, we saw the movie, uh, the uh, TV show Resident Alien. Yes, we did. Yeah. Um, or we didn't. We, we got we got uh, into the beginning of the second season. Um, it was fun. It was enjoyable. I, I, I liked yeah. it. It, yeah. it. It got it got like an eight point three rating out of ten. So you know, all the in people. In general, are you talking? That's it, what you give it. No, no, no. In general, <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't give ratings like that. I know, but I was just wondering. I was um, just making sure. But it, it really seriously loses its way. Uh, I, after, after, after he stops being the town doctor. Oh, here's the thing. Um, Spoilers. Towns, well, here's the thing. Towns can like. Um, uh, 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 draft doctors and force them to, to, to work in them if they don't have any other doctors. He, he was he had, was given no choice. <laughs> you must now be our town doctor, and True. we'll and and we'll get another one. We're working on getting another one, but until then, he was given no choice. He had to be the town doctor. True. And, and okay, I understand you want to get him into that position just so you'll have a TV show. And once he, once he, they replaced him, we, we figured, oh, there's a new handsome young doctor they're replacing him with. I guess there will be a bunch of new storylines. Nope. Nope. Same storyline. Uh, the guy later gets kidnapped by people thinking that it's him. And um, then we see a few bits where he's, like, imprisoned. But uh, there, there was really nothing, nothing, nothing done with the dog. It was, like so many other it, plot lines that just dropped they, well, and forgot they're, they're it. Not so it's like, much Here's the plot. I'm just going to put it there. We're just going to let it sit. And we're going to go off and do this other thing with the minor characters. I know. 
The minor characters took over the kid. <laughs> took over. But then even the minor <laughs> characters, even the plots from the minor characters, they'd say something about it and then wait like five episodes before you saw it, heard anything or, else. Or, or, or just for completely forgotten. Or just completely forgotten, yeah. yeah. It was a very weird show. I mean, but it was funny. I mean... I know I know exactly what happened. Yeah. Well, um, you know how they spend so much... The characters here spend so much time in the bar? I think the writers <laughs> were spending so much time in the bar. They they, they, they just drunkenly forgot many of the storylines. And then when they sobered up, they remembered and threw something in quick. Perhaps, perhaps. Then, yeah. I know for a fact that one of the writers drank vodka and tonic because they do make uh, a, a point of saying... Oh, fancy vodka tonic! You know, they they explain it. So I I know that for writing, all they're really doing is they're uh, doing transcriptions of their own conversations in the bar after oh. af after work. <laughs> but um, we but it may. Was have... funny. We did laugh. Yeah. Oh well, it, I liked the, yeah. I enjoyed myself and up to a point. Mm. We may return to it just as in morbid fascination to see where they go with it. Well, I would like to just see where oh. it ends, just hey. out of curiosity. Uh, oh, Irving, yeah, Irving on camera one, could you, uh, I, listen, I printed up for some reason the, uh, the, 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 the writers, um, but the chief color suggested that I not go into who they are and what their no, career is, uh, well, because, because it profits us not whatsoever. No. So I'm not even going to talk about that. So we're stuck still with Harvey Weinstein's acolyte, or now let's go with the googly-eyed sandworms. That makes me feel happier. And why are we here, folks? To make you... To make me fucking happy. You got that right. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like... They kind of look like Cookie Monster, don't they? Me want cookie. Yes. Me want cookie. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's uh, move this over to the side of it so we can get more Cookie Monster into the frame and... Uh, See, hmm. Now you've got that in my head. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. That's good Probably enough for me. Hmm. I think I need a little bit more room on the desk. <clears throat> so let's get Alicia uh, looking for a wet cat. Now I said I would explain the um, the rain effect that I had to work on here. Um. I love the old Charles Schultz Peanuts comic strips where they show poor Charlie Brown sitting on the uh, mound with the rain coming down and him complaining. It's hardly raining. Come on, we can't cancel the game. We gotta. You know, and, mm -hmm. but, and then Snoopy would swim or boat by. Uh, oh yeah. But what? You just get just get a um, rule. Well, I draw the background first, then I do the raindrops just randomly around and then a ruler with a marker that's nearly dead and the reason why you want a marker that's nearly dead is so that you get lines that are not perfectly consistent this is just a rapidograph uh, the reason why you don't use markers is you don't have control of them and they die on you and it, it's 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 not a professional instrument but you can use a marker to make rain Oh. And that's how a professional cartoonist of this sort makes rain. Now, Charles Schultz himself used to just use a um, uh, steel nibbed pen with a ruler, and he just. <laughs> and it destroyed the artwork because you really couldn't. You had trouble seeing the characters behind all these heavy lines. I'm happy with these lighter lines to give us more of a uh, rain feel. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, I, I, if I can be so arrogant, I'm going to say I improved upon Mr. Schultz's rain effect, but, well, far be it from me to be arrogant. <laughs> would you know how to? I Yes, I perished the thought that I would ever be arrogant. Speaking of which, uh, new, seg of new segment for today's um, comic strip, Fight Over the Comic Strip, <laughs> is fan mail. And yes, yes, Fight Over the <clears throat> Comic Strip has received a legitimate piece of fan mail. And I am excited, <laughs> and I tell you, excited to read this fan mail to you today. I had to put post-it notes over the uh, actual person's address and my address. So, you know, for, but <clears throat> here we go. Mm. Hello. Be good. Hello, my name is Grieda, 
G-U-E-R-D-A. Okay, Guerda. Uh, okay, looks like her pen failed on the first line. So, I guess in view. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that's in view. What do you think? Um, he has a talent that many millennials don't have. See, they used to teach us how to write like this. It's called cursive. That's so all the letters <laughs> sort of mixed together. So um, you might have you might have seen the U.S. Constitution and like all those other old documents. That they you can hardly read them because all the letters are just sort of connected together. That's because it's written in cursive. And see how it's slightly slanted to the right. Uh, she, she's slightly slanted to the right, just like my lettering is, because the Earth is tilted. And if the letters are tilted <laughs> like this, then it's straight or right up. So it's perfect. So she already good already has my heart. Okay. In view of our circumstances, my husband and I cannot visit you in person. Oh, well, thank. But I don't think I want. Okay. I, well, I, I, I don't want to. I don't remember. I don't remember inviting him. I'll visit you in person. But we would like to share some positive thought with you. Now, see, this is great. Uh, I've always been a, a, a man of, of, of positive, <laughs> positive thoughts. Thought. Yes, yes, okay. Positive thoughts. Everybody ready? Irving, camera? Okay, here we go. Uh, great is positive thoughts. <clears throat> here we go. We are living in a troublesome world where uh, uh, every day we hear of wars. It's one place after another. Hunger and crime is everywhere. People wonder, is there hope for a better life? Well, yes, there is. It's called Fight of the Comic Strip. Right? Yes, that's, that's where she's going with this, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> of course it's where she's going. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, wow. okay, now, the next sentence kind of caught me off guard here. But, but Charles Schultz himself from Peanuts was very religious. You remember the Peanuts Christmas special? He had Linus do a whole Bible quote. So good is going to give us a Bible quote here, which is good. Okay. In Matthew 6, 9, and 10, Jesus thought his disciples, or taught his disciples to pray for the sanctification of Jehovah's name and for his kingdom to come. Okay. Why? Because Jesus knows, K-N-O-W with a positive, with the, up, up, um, apostrophe? She, well, she's got a, yeah, so it's possessive knows. Yes. So Jesus possessively possessive knows, knows. <laughs> that God's possessive kingdom, that's correct, is the only solution for mankind's problems. Okay. For example, do you think we will see an end to wars? Uh, uh, yeah, well, I have spoken about the the the, uh, the war in uh, Ukraine on this comment. On this, obviously mm -hmm. she's a fan. Mm -hmm. Obviously she's a fan. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's why she sent this. What? Um, you, uh, see, I can't figure out what that word is, but maybe is there? Oh, oh, what hope? There we go. Let's see. I've so seldom have read the word hope that I. Uh, what? <laughs> what hope is there for peace? Hmm. Soon God will bring an end to wars throughout the earth. Um, Psalm 46.9. Under God's kingdom, uh, ruled by Christ J Jesus, Jehovah's kind. Uh, okay, she's getting a little bit too much into the weeds here. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll bring a, a better world to mankind. Uh, with that letter, we inserted a tract about the, and there's a K, and it looks like she, I'm guessing she was crying. So there's a wet spot on the paper that the ink just disappeared. So oh, obviously no. this stuff is written with her tears. Uh, so she loves this comic strip so much, I think, that, that, that you know, okay, well, get Yeah, because this is the, definitely a fan letter. Get to the meat of, tell me why <laughs> you love Fido. Uh, of God, we hope that you read it. Yeah, wait a minute. Red Fido. You, uh, yeah, uh, well, I always, well, I write it. Anyway, I know, I know. Okay. She wants us to read it, too, I, to enjoy it. I she guess, I, 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 yeah, I want to see it. Mm -hmm. If you like to know more, you can visit, and she's got a jwor.org for more information. Sincerely, um, P. Claire Ingricada. Um, 
I'm not. If, P.S. I need, it, there's no P.S. <laughs> is, did they write well, PS this is the they... strangest bit of fan mail I've ever received. I know. But I'm so happy to receive it. And thank you, uh, Jagada Garada, for um, your Ooh. kind words. And, uh, and we will just continue um, doing the good work here with Fido the comic strip. Um, in the future, perhaps, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a post office box where you too can send your very own fan mail. But don't worry, we have such a thing as an internet. Very few people actually ever like write stuff like this. See, that's a stamp. Mm. <laughs> and what you do is you put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it. I know how much more stamps cost these days. You don't even have a price oh, stamp. No, it's yeah. like 38 cents, 44 cents, so no like that. Um, but anyway, oh, God, no. No, you, no, no, no. an email it's is free. Oh, probably. <laughs> the email is free, so you don't even need to do this. So, um, thank you, um, fans and everywhere. That was a that was an inspirational um, in, in, that um, piece of fan mail. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, you folks at home can send your own fan mail um, to fightofthecomicstrip.com. If you go up to www.fightofthecomicstrip.com. Uh, the chief colors has set up a um, Gmail Gmail address, Gmail address, Gmail address yeah. at com. It, it goes straight to the chief colorist, and I hope that she reads the emails and passes them on to me. There is uh, currently no way. Where to, do you think you got that from? No, just kidding. <laughs> there is currently no way to ever like uh, contact me in person because I'm sort of a recluse, and I don't do fan meetings, and I don't. Uh, I rarely discuss things that with anybody. Uh, I've got a few people. Someone who does my uh, fan web uh, a blog, who is able to get in touch with me if she has to, but that's about it. I generally avoid people because I'm just like that. All right, and let's get some wet dog droplets onto the page. And we're probably going to have to stop with that one at this moment because I've got to let that dry. But yes, let's move on to Saturday. Yes. Inspirational piece of fan mail. That just makes me happy. Doesn't, that make, feel... doesn't that make you happy too? Of course she it colors. does. Uh, it does make me so happy to I have might, fan mail like that. I might have to send her... Um, <laughs> A thank you note for that piece of fan mail, and I'll do a little drawing of Fido and Felicia. And uh, I would say to not engage, but you know, yeah. I. Um, I think I've already sort of written one here. And look, a little picture of Fido and Felicia reading her message with utter confusion on their faces. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that that goes off to Greta. And. Uh, <laughs> But all my love. Hey, yeah. Can I steal your back scratcher? Um, uh, back scratcher. Behind you. Do I have one? I think so. There you go. Thank you. I thought I was your back scratcher. You are, but you're currently busy. Oh. <clears throat> all right. I love my back scratcher. See, I'm, I'm a, I'm a horrible one. Um, atheists, so uh, I, don't, I don't think Mr. Schultz would approve of me uh, in that I, if I had to fight a Christmas special, there wouldn't be any um, Bible verses mentioned, <laughs> because I, I, I just kind of like don't believe in any of that stuff. I told you. And what? I don't mind someone who wears their um, religion on their sleeve, that's fine. Mm -hmm. What bugs the fuck out of me are the assholes who try to recruit you. Yes, I know. I, I know. hate these evil mother... F with well, all a, my heart and soul. That's a common hatred. People don't care, you know, what other people think or what they believe or whatever. It's just don't tell me to believe it. Or don't make me think that <sighs> I should believe it. I've even, like, put a no solicitation sign in two languages on my door. I know. <laughs> So that might be why you just got that. <laughs> every <laughs> once in a every once in a while, we do get a, a solicitation from the from the Lord, uh, <laughs> or at least well, they claim it's from the Lord, yeah. and um, 
but they have yet to prove it to us. And I, I point to the sign, and they try to complain that they are not soliciting. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh well. I, don't we know better? I still, I, I'm amused by, I think I told you, my mother was on the phone with her cousin, who is a very lovely woman, and mm -hmm. she's a very religious woman, but she's definitely not someone to, you know, hoist it upon you or make you feel bad. And uh, she was just telling my mother, who was going through a hard time, you know, things happen and blah, 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 and there's a place for you in heaven, and she's giving her just a very... A very sweet kind of encouragement with a little bit of a... Really? It's God's will that I'd be like this? Really? No, really? That's not a bitch? No! <laughs> no! Oh, what? So she says, oh, you know, heaven and all this. and so, Well, I know you just have to... Oh, I just don't know. Oh, whatever. You just have to, you know, know that there's a plan for you and God has everything set up. And there's a pause. And uh -huh. my mother says... That's a load of crap. <laughs> I almost fell off the bed laughing. Oh, I think I was sitting on a bed at the time. And this woman didn't say anything. She just paused too. And she said, oh, you know, that, and they just kept talking. But it was like, that's a load of crap. I, oh, I, it was hysterical. <laughs> it was like, and I didn't want to laugh because I didn't want to insult my mother's cousin, you know, because she could have heard me. <laughs> but it was just... It was funny. I found it amusing. Especially after the pause. <laughs> she hadn't thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I guess my mother hasn't turned into a, a religious woman in her, you know... Oh, elder years. Elder yeah, a lot years. Of, yeah. yeah, a lot of people do. They do, that's what I mean. My mother hasn't done Cowards, though they are. Your mother's got no, a little. Bit, no, your no. mother's got a little bit of bravery that I never thought she had. It's kind of tough to, to to put your money where your mouth is. Mm, she she's definitely she definitely means what she says a lot of times, mm -hmm. except when she's sick. I think strangely, my father claimed to have uh, found been, been born again on his uh, deathbed, but yeah. a lot of people do. I don't believe him for a second. <laughs> he was so full of shit. It was coming out of his ears. No f way. <laughs> but whatever. It doesn't, you know, no skin off my teeth. I, he can, whatever legacy he wanted to leave, he left. So, there's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, it's raining out. How can you tell? Really? Well, I, well that's, a, that's why it's a good time to explain how you draw rain properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta get the look on Fido's face here. He's leaving? He's done? Mm -hmm. Absolute shock. Shock and awe. And a gasp. Still recording? Have you checked? Uh, I have not checked. Well, let's see what we're doing here. <coughs> uh, yep, we are 43 minutes in. It's almost about time that we started thinking about the title. Oh, do we have anything? For today. Well, uh, Superman? Well, yeah, we see. What, what, what have we written down? Usually what we write down is what tells us uh, what our titles are going to be. And I wrote beta mail on top of um, <laughs> uh, 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 Paul Atreides here um, from Dune. Well, that we've sounds got, about right. We've got the uh, motion, Ohio Motion Picture Association tax application for the Superman movie, which is now called, I guess, Genesis, according to this, these tax records, unless, you know, unless James Gunn and company are lying to the people of Ohio about... Why things. would they lie about something like that? Well, be silly. Well, that gets them eleven million dollars in credit. But, oh, uh, okay. But <laughs> um, for three hundred and sixty-three <coughs> million dollars, they've changed it from Superman Legacy to, I guess, Superman Genesis. I don't know. That's what it says in the application. 
Uh, so, I guess, Genesis. Um, Genesis. Wow. We found our title. There we go. That works. Well, we're all this talk about religion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, now I've got to come up with a better reason for Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Let's get, uh, let's get some ink on our paper here. I never thought that that would... Um, that, never, that never came up as yeah, a potential go. process for a um, title. So, uh, in the beginning, the Fido comic strip was a little bit different from what you see today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess we have to talk about the genesis. Why, uh, why, we, <laughs> why we started... Why it wasn't colored. <laughs> <laughs> why we started doing this comic strip. Um, I was a paper boy. I delivered the Boston Globe at the tender, starting at the tender age of eight, because my father thought that we all should be working and out of the house every morning before seven. And I had to be up about 5.30ish, because I had to be at school by 7.35. Do schools um, still uh, start early in the morning? I couldn't tell you. I see them getting out super early, so I hope so. Yeah. Excuse so um, when I was delivering the Boston Globe, they wanted to read the comics every day, mm -hmm. and then I decided that's what I wanted to do for a living. Sounds and like a plan. Plus, piloting um, the piloting the um, the cherry drafting board is a lot easier than stripping a roof in the winter. <laughs> Which you also did many times. We would just about every winter have to strip a roof because we never lost money on roofs. And um, we were always like looking for money for Christmas. <laughs> oh, there you go. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So I was sort of a David Copperfield like chimney sweep <laughs> <laughs> every Christmas <laughs> with a, with a big <laughs> with a big pitchfork. Um, pitch. <laughs> well, well, that's how you yeah, yeah. that's how you get asphalt shingles yeah. off off of a roof. But I'm just picturing it, yeah. making you smile. So um, my earlier comic strip was Scamp and Tramp, which I loosely based on myself and my friend John. Guess which one was which? Uh, you were the Tramp. Nope, I was Scamp. I know. <laughs> I was <laughs> Scamp. Guy. Yeah. Um, two dogs just trying to make their way in the world, chased by a nefarious dog catcher. Mm. They had girlfriends. Of course. They did. Yep. That I didn't well, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even back then, you had to do no gay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not gay. Not gay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not gay. So. Um, oh, did they live together? Uh, well, on the streets they were. Oh, you know, yeah, they, they, they were. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they were. Street dogs. Right, right, right. Strays, as one might call it. Yes, yes, exactly. Escapees from the dog pound. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Good for them. Yes. And um, as was characteristic in the day, I believe Fido, no, I'm sorry, Scamp and Tramp rescued both their girlfriends out of the dog pound as well. So ah. males rescuing females. It was a, it that sorry we just did that back then. That was mm -hmm. that was that was the sort of thing that was done. Um, you speak silly. Yeah. And it was a um, variously like an adventure series, I suppose. Um, they went off on adventures. All right, there is that panel. Let's move Superman Legacy aside. Super, oh, sorry, I called it Legacy. Genesis, Superman Genesis. <laughs> um, we can't wait to see Superman Genesis. You know, I'm sure it's gonna be several films. So, hey, wait a minute, yeah, let's do, maybe they will get to Legacy eventually, but Okay, what's the Genesis is the first book of the Bible. What's the second book? Well, you put me on the spot, honey. <laughs> Maybe that's what God's going to do. He's going to uh, do gonna the Bible. Be, yeah, yeah. Why do, do the Bible? That's he's going to do exactly do the Bible. What? Why the hell not? 
This is... Why the hell not? <laughs> See, I don't know why the hell not to do the Bible. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what they're doing. So, um... Have you oh, thought? you know what it is? What is it? It's the Exodus, I think. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. So Genesis, Exodus. Mm-hmm. And what else? Uh, E-X-O-D-I-U-S? E-X-O-D-U-S. E. There's no I, huh? Um, hold on, let me look it up. Yeah, no problem. No, no I. What's E-X-O-D-U-S. Is, E-X-O-D-U-S. is there a third point? Is there any? What, what else is there? I don't know. It took me that long to come up with Exodus. Let me see how long it will take me to come up with <laughs> How quickly is your Google connection? <laughs> <laughs> Leviticus, I did Google. Le- I, uh, I can't see them doing Leviticus. No. L- how do you spell Leviticus? L-E-V-I-T-I-C-U-S. Hmm. So Superman Genesis, Superman Exodus, and Superman Leviticus. You heard it here first, folks. Fido's <laughs> prediction of what these Superman films are going to be. Because they can't be spending... Close to four hundred million dollars for one film. It's got to be three. <laughs> for the low, low price of four dollars, you too can purchase a books of the Bible um, poster. Lovely. Uh, mm-hmm. No thanks. I'm not really into posters. That's true. Mm. Very much into the Bible, but not into posters. Uh, yeah. I know. I, was, I just make jokes. <laughs> So, in the beginning, there wasn't Fido, but there was Scamp and Tramp. There wasn't one, but there were two. You have shown me some Scamp and Tramp. Yeah. So, I have, um, uh, and then when, well, before there was Fido, actually, there was a comic strip called Pests, P-E-S-T-S, with um, basically the Bo character had had a rat infested apartment, and George the rat was the uh, original Fido character Um, until Jay Kennedy from King Feature Syndicate says, I don't think people want to see a rat uh, over their their breakfast cereal. What does he know? Wait a minute. Oh, geez. I forgot to bring the camera back down. Oh, no. Did you miss all that? No, no, no. It's no good at all. Oh, you just couldn't see the bottom of the panel, which I kind of like them to see. So, uh, George the Rat was replaced with Fido the Dog. Mm-hmm. And for some stupid reason, rather than saying F I D O, I did. Because your mind doesn't work. H Y D E A U X. Fido. You did that because you have a much more complex mind than the normal it's person. It's a, a little nod to my French Canadian history. Yeah, exactly. My grandmother was so tickled when she saw Buena Vieux on the New Hampshire uh, sign. Uh, Welcome to New Hampshire, Buena Vieux, New Hampshire. Because uh, the French language is so seldom like seen. It's a dying language. And, and mm-hmm. the French are very arrogant and want their language to survive. Continue on. Which is why it's like, it's like law in Quebec that all the signs have to be first in French and then in English. You guys, you got to do whatever you can to protect that language. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, Fideo is rather my joke, my French joke. Fideo. Yeah, Fideo. Fideo. <laughs> the idea being that he's a little bit full of himself, like my grandmother was, <gasps> would have been. So, there is the Genesis of the name. Ah, it's good to know the genesis of the name. Uh, yes. Uh, is there anything else that we could learn the genesis of? Uh, genesis of you can learn, we, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna flog that word genesis <laughs> so much that it will actually make sense <laughs> as the title of tonight's mm. Fido Live. Today's Fido Live, you mean, of course. Right. It's a, a secret that we filmed this the night before because I want it dark so I can control the lighting. Uh, pa- earlier photos, you'd, you'd see the sun 
crawling across the drafting board as we're working. <laughs> as, as the time went on. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah. And we have some blinds behind us, and it's like a film noir set with the, with the, with the, with the slats, with the slats of sunlight going across the board. Yeah, it wasn't a good look. But every day is better. This is true. And every broadcast has been getting better. This is true. I don't think this one's as funny as the one we had like three or four weeks ago. Though. <laughs> four, five, six, Will seven. Will you stop it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So let's see. What other thing can I explain the genesis of? <laughs> Gee, I cannot wait until Superman Genesis comes out, and that will be the title. Yes, I predict it here. Superman <laughs> Genesis, because that's what they said in the tax records. And they would not lie to the city of uh, Cincinnati, uh, state of Ohio. Don't you mean Metropolis? No. <laughs> Where is Superman? Is Superman's? No. Uh, yeah, Metropolis. Metropolis. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, Metropolis. It didn't sound right. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean... What do you think this is? Disney? No, oh, it's Warner Brothers. I can see Disney lying to the UK about uh, the Acolyte. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I wonder how that worked out. It was, they're awfully quiet about that. The, uh, <laughs> Her Majesty's government was going to seize um, all of the productions of the Acolyte uh, b b you know, when they were trying to skip town last year. Skip town? Charles, <laughs> they just needed to leave. <laughs> You when know. they suddenly decided, you know, after saying, okay, we've got four or five episodes filmed. Oh, we're done! <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when they were told that they were done, and they left town. <laughs> uh, the, Her Majesty's government was seizing the acolyte. And we haven't heard a word about what happened there. I guess... I wonder what I could have happened. I guess Disney finally had to pay up. Uh, so, anyway. Oh. We are talking about... We are talking about... Um, S and K Pictures Incorporated, uh, subsidiary of Warner's, Warner Brothers. Mm, S and K. Yes, S and K. Yes, okay. uh, Sean and Kenneth, I guess. So, oh. or so, um, Superman and Kryptonite Productions. S and K. Superman and Kryptonite no, Productions. No, is that really what it's called? <laughs> S and K. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's called. I like that. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good name. That's I a like good name that for a production name. company. Yes. You should trademark that. And, right and that film is called Genesis. Yeah, Superman Genesis. And I'm guessing that the sequel is Superman Exodus, and then we get to see... Superman Su Leviticus. Superman Leviticus. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to lose Harvey Weinstein's acolyte on the soft side of the table, so let's just throw her away. We had a kid in my school whose name was Mark, and he, was, he said he had, um, I don't know, he had a big family, like, there were nine kids or something in his family. And he was talking about his brothers, and they were Luke and John. Uh -huh. And we're like, oh, is the other one Matthew? He's like, oh, Steve. But he was wrong. It wasn't Steve. He was joking. But it was. So they were Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Oh. Huh. I've kind of heard Steve, Mark, Luke, and John. I know. That's, that that would have been funnier. That's the book I like. Steve? The book of Steve? Yeah, the book of Steve. Mm -hmm. I think there was a... Oh, yeah, actually, there was there a There was book. a movie, yeah, but... No, oh. The Tao of Steve. Oh, what it was, was the Tao of Steve? The, well, T-A-O. Remember, yeah. they, remember they, they, they did the Tao of Pooh, Winnie the Pooh? Oh, uh, yes, yes, Joke yes. book. Someone did a Tao of Steve, you know, to do, talking about uh, the coolness of Steve McQueen. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, yes, I, I prefer the book of Steve. What was the... Um... Steve McQueen was an asshole. Who's... <laughs> Well, where's the, what's the genesis of that rumor? No, <laughs> see what I did there? Um, um. <laughs> I, I think Ali McGraw and um, the producer, um, Bob... Um, uh, wow. Well, the producer of The Godfather. I couldn't tell you. Bob Evans. Robert Evans. Oh, Robert Evans, yeah. Uh, R R Robert Evans' wife was stolen from him by Steve McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to tentatively say it was Allie by McGraw, but I don't know. So maybe. I think I, she was married to him. So yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, according to Bob Evans, Steve McQueen's an asshole. <laughs> and I'll take Bob Evans' word for it because Paramount hasn't made a good picture since they lost him. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's the name of What's the name of the guy um, in the Monty Python? Isn't that Steve? Uh, Brian. Brian. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Life of Brian. Life of Brian Monty Python. Yes. <laughs> what, is Bob Evans dead? He's got. Oh be. God, yeah. He's. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, the, the lifestyle that guy lived. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, that that was when cocaine was cocaine. <laughs> They're all dead. He's dead. McQueen's dead. Ellie mm. McGraw's. I think Ellie McGraw's dead. Yeah. I I enjoyed the uh, the Bob Evans show. It was on a it was a cartoon on a I think Comedy Central. No, Cartoon Network. Really? Yeah. Um, it was based. Uh, he did a um, like a documentary that he narrated himself. In his own cool style, and then they made a animated Bob Evans cartoon, and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take your word for it. I don't think I ever saw it. <laughs> Him with those funky sunglasses, just a complete uh, a narcissistic <laughs> Hollywood bastard. Um, I think BoJack Horseman has been it was it's loosely based on the on, oh, on, yeah. on, on, on the whole mess. <clears throat> And I've heard a lot of great stuff about Bojack Horseman, but I just can't bring myself to watch it. Did we try? I feel like we tried. Well, perhaps. We tried just about everything. I know. Except cocaine. Nope. Never tried cocaine. I never have, no. Yeah. You don't even know where to get it. <laughs> I probably... Mm, no, no. <laughs> you probably could get prescribed. <laughs> no, that's not what I was going to say. Uh, I've been around cocaine. Ah. I hear cocaine's a hell of a drug. It is a hell of a drug. Mm. I actually attended an event one time with people who I would have never in a billion years thought did cocaine. Yeah. And when I got to the party, there was cocaine. And I was like, oh, oh. Well, that's interesting. I have friends of friends who are experienced with the cocaine thing. And uh, mm -hmm. one of them... Um, one of them went to jail for robbing a bank, mm -hmm. and he said, "Well, he was high on coke, and he thought he was invisible." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't get off on that, huh? He still it, went to it, jail? it wasn't. It wasn't taken into account as a defense. Wow, that sucks. Mm. Sometimes the justice system just doesn't yeah, yeah, do its yeah. job. Well, well, well. Here's the thing: it's the justice system has always been a work in progress. That's true. Just like the con U.S. Constitution is, you know, we we changed <laughs> it to get rid of alcohol, but then we changed it back. I know. Uh, we, we we do we do things like this in America. It's a work in progress. So someday the laws will They'll catch get up. They'll get it right. To, you know. mm -hmm. These unjust, these injustices will be corrected. It is in fact legal to rob a bank if you think you're invisible because you're taking too much cocaine. See, I would have thought so. And and I'm pretty sure it will also trans or carry over to meth. Oh, possibly. Just for probably. popularity's sake. Yeah. yeah. Another drug I've never tried, meth. You don't even know where to get it. I'm pretty sure it's probably. <coughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's manufactured within like a couple hundred feet of where I live. <laughs> meth. I can honestly state that that I would have no clue how to get. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny though. It's manufactured probably within sight of our window. <laughs> why are you gonna go down that route? Well, why else does he have that blue light on his window all night long? <laughs> Shush! We weren't discussing that blue light outside of our own privacy, private light. Our own little head cannon. That's that. <laughs> That's that's the that's the blue light of meth manufacturing. We company. I thought we decided that it was a, a Kmart special. I thought that that's where we we landed on. It's not a meth lab. It's a Kmart special. For those of you who don't know, Kmart was a store that was closed many years ago. And they used to have what kind of like Target the or Target, kind of like Target. And every now and again, they would literally have this blue light that they would place at the end of an aisle or end of a department, and they would let it strobe, for lack of a better word. And, and, you'd, that, and you'd hear over the loudspeakers? Yep. What would you hear? 
you would hear attention K Mart shoppers. shoppers. Yes, yes. Today's blue light special is in the chips aisle. Get your Lay's potato chips, two for a dollar. That's how far back it went, two for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that was back when Pringles were a dollar a can. No, Pringles were probably less than that. No, no, they, they debuted at a dollar. Oh, did they debut at a dollar? Yeah. Yeah. I got amongst the first of the product that ever existed on the planet Earth. Wow, cool. And I had the genesis of Pringles potato chips here now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it was a whole new manufacturing method. They were like, you know, that's why they were all uniform. They spat them out of the machine a mile a minute. They're really proud of them. They were delicious. Mashed yeah. potato chips. Pre-mashed. Yeah. Pre-mashed yeah, for you. Yeah. And, the, uh, and the can became a sensation in prisons worldwide. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm already thinking, but I don't want to know. For the same reason that the popcorn bucket for the movie uh, Dune <laughs> has been so um, loved lately. Now, can you get a bucket without buying a ticket for Dune? <laughs> <laughs> can you get a bucket without popcorn? Because, you know, I. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but with butter. With butter, though. You want butter. You need the butter. And just not too hot. Yeah. Yeah, build of tension here. See, first he's got the whole uh, Zen hands up in the air, legs crossed, eyes closed, and then uh, like, like slightly uh, progressing to um, uh, squint in the eyes and the eyebrows have leveled out. And we're slowly building the tension in bow. He's trying to relax here with a lavender candle, and relaxation is not possible with a dog and a cat. No. That should be self-evident. And that's the joke. Relaxation is not possible with a dog and a cat. I'll finish that bond with the candle when I can turn the thing better. Two, three, four, five toes. All right, let's move the sandworms and uh, Superman Genesis Leviticus Exodus. <laughs> the trilogy that I'm predicting that they're currently making in Cleveland. <laughs> Otherwise known as Metropolis. Metropolis. Cleveland, mm -hmm. Cleveland Ohio, Metropolis, Ohio. <laughs> well, I'm thinking Ohio must have some like farm like areas where they oh, can, where they can yeah. claim to be Kansas. Oh yeah. Hmm. Well, they can do the whole Smallville as well as uh, Metropolis. <laughs> Not to, we should have printed up some pictures of Cleveland so we get a good feel for what Metropolis looks like. Well, Superman. Uh, oh, I have an idea. We can use we can use the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as like um, the uh, the Justice League um, oh, building because okay. it, 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 it it's kind of a funky looking building anyway. It looks like yeah, either it, it looks yeah. like it's either a, a, a evil lair or some place where the Justice League meets up. Uh, finally, they finally have a use for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's fantastic. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is located in Cleveland, the land of Cleve. Famous being the birthplace of a um, hilarious comedian and TV show game, TV game show host, Drew Carey. Mm-hmm. Because everyone knows Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Mm-hmm. Cleveland rocks. Ohio! <clears throat> well, 
Well, you, uh, so uh, mm -hmm. are we going for the uh, positive Superman thing here, or are we go? Oh, they're going dark. Obviously, it looks like by the muted colors, they're going dark. No, I was always hoped for like a happy positive Superman. It's going to be positive. Hmm. I predict it's going to be positive. We here at Fight of the Comics Group um, value positivity. Mm -hmm. I'm positive that this film is not <laughs> going to cost $365 million. No, you think it's going to be less? I'm positive Warner Brothers would not give James Gunn $365 million for one film. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm positive you were wrong. <laughs> They won't even make it to the yard sale with the bankruptcy if they're, they're going to spend money like this. So, we know that Warners wants someone to buy them. And they're hoping to build up the DC Universe. Yeah, Des I don't think this will work for Despite them. what everyone's calling superhero fatigue, which... I'm supposed to <clears throat> reject and say, no, it's bad movie fatigue. But at this point, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever. Yeah, just stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm fatigued. All right, fine, just stop doing it. All right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just cut it up. Yeah. Whatever it is, just cut it up. It's like if there's a little kid who's like pushing on you in line, it's like... He's not hurting me, but yeah, I'm tired. Just, uh, just okay, yeah, just stop. Just stop, yeah. Just stop. Uh, yeah. Wow, it's really raining out there now. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we progressed the um, fatigue with uh, Bo here. And his eyes are at half mast looking at Felicia when she says, that thing looks dangerous. This left hand is turned into a fist, but the right hand is still sort of down. <clears throat> and absolute innocence on Fido's face. Aww, because he is an innocent. That's what I said. I know. He says. Why does Fido only have three toes? I can explain the origin of that story. The genesis you mean? The, you know, you're right. Yes, I can explain <laughs> the genesis of why Fido only has three toes. Mm -hmm. Because the cartoonist is Charles Lincoln Kersey III. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta put my signature on everything. You might notice Dean, uh, uh, d d d Felicia also has three toes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. The third. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to do whiskers on Felicia on all these panels. All the panels? Yeah, everything. There's oh. not a single whisker on this comic book. Oh, group. no. And I was going to say, Felicia has three whiskers on one side and four on the other. Because she had a rough kittenhood. Let's see another three. The power we'll of... We'll have to figure out the genesis of that story, too. The power of three. I haven't told the joke yet. I know. I haven't written the joke yet. I know. But somebody will figure out the genesis of why she has... The genesis of it, you say? Yes. Hmm. Hey, what was the name of that Phil Collins band before he went on his own? Uh, Metallica. Uh, no, I don't think that was it. <laughs> oh, you mean Genesis. Yes, Genesis. Genesis. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is named after Phil Collins' old band. <laughs> I think we've come up with it enough enough of an excuse for the title. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Do 
Cheers. Who was that? I had a sip of Coke Zero. And it popped? Did no. you hear that pop? That pop was me placing the can back on the freaking okay. tabaret. Another okay. French word, tabaret. Tabaret. Mm -hmm. Come to oui, the oui. tabaret, my friend. Oh, it's cabaret, never mind. <laughs> so, the French influences in Fido, they, they run deep, you understand. I do understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say, bon, the, the, the French, they are uh, passionate people. And Fido, he is, he, is, he is a passionate dog. Dogs full of passion. Much, much passion. Mm -hmm. And desire. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Much Fido, passion and desire. Fido is full of desire. You may call him streetcar because he is full with <laughs> desire. I'll bet you only half of the audience understood that. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Amazing how that works out. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So are we going to list any other drugs that we have not had in our lifetime? <laughs> well, I have never had any kind of illegal drug, so you could list them all off. I've had nearly every legal drug, but I haven't had, never had any illegal drug. You weren't much of a lawbreaker, or rule <clears throat> doctor, I, were you? I never, yeah, well, well, because I was always on some kind of medication that could probably mix not well with other things, so. <laughs> and in the final panel you see here, Bo has uh, brought both hands into fists, his elbows up, he's getting up, sort of, as his legs have come in together closer to come out of the cross-legged position that he's sitting in because he's realized he is not going to get any sandalwood and lavender relaxation <laughs> this evening. Nope, not going to happen. So the comic strip Fido loves its French listeners and French leaders. Yes, 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 we do. The French are a wonderful people. Now, I just switched off to some sort of Hungarian accent. I, I, I know. know that yeah, I, I, I don't know where, where that V came from. It, it <laughs> that was not French. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to go for the French-Canadian accent, oh. right? Because I, we, the Boston accent is pretty close to naturally Canadian anyway. Mm -hmm. So you just speak, Boston, you speak French with a Boston accent and you got French. Canadian. <laughs> a little bit more nasal and up in there. All right. I guess we could. Once we finish Fido off here, we'll let the audience go home. And well, they don't have to go home. They just have to leave. They can yeah. contemplate the uh, all they've learned. Uh, about Fido the comic strip, the genesis thereof, <laughs> today. There we go. Now, remember to put the cap back on your ink bottle. If we can find the cap. And it is very important to put the cap back on the ink bottle. I can't even find the cap. It should be over here somewhere. Oh, no. Shit, you really can't find it? Nah, cannot hmm. find it. Oh, here we go. Always remember to put the cap back on the ink bottle. And thank you for joining us for Fido uh, 86. Wow. Yes, yes. Genesis. Um, soon, uh, coming to theaters soon. They've just become principal photography in Ohio, according to these tax records. Uh, from 11-27-23 at uh, 7 26 p.m. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. 7.30 at night. Government offices are taking in uh, tax filings. <laughs> and um, thank the city of Cleveland and Cincinnati for uh, $11 million, million dollars uh, uh, tax credit so that we may have this lovely 
film trilogy is what this is going to be. It, it, for uh, $363 million, it can't be one film. It's going to be three. Oh, of course. Uh, first one, Genesis. Second one, Exodus. Third, third one, Leviticus. You've heard it. You've heard it here first. I predict that that is what the Superman trilogy from James Gunn will be. A final exclusive. A final exclusive. Um, let's see. Do I have any other jokes I can uh, toss in before I leave? <laughs> see you next week. Bye.